Okay, hello guys, I'm back. So, in this episode of the series, I want to go over the user interface, get you familiar with the software, and for later reference when I'm going through the tutorials. So, just give it a second for UDK to load, and we'll begin. I'm just gonna close this and this. Okay, it's all gonna be the same even with this single template. Let me switch to unlit mode. Okay. Yep. Yeah, first of all, I want to talk to you about the different uh, viewport modes for wireframe unlit, which is like what the developer will see. It's just there's no lighting to it whatsoever. Can't see any shadow works. So it's unlit mode, which is yeah. You'll see the lighting, and you see the little play button that will put you into the game as if you are playing a little like WASD to move. I think I told you that in the previous tutorial. Yeah, and then you got lighting density, a uh, detailed lighting, sorry, which will look the same as the white bit. If you say you had extra objects, it'll all be grey, and then you got like, <coughs> and then you got lighting only, so you won't see any standard textures, etc. And there's texture density, there's nothing on it, so you won't be able to see it properly. Uh, there we go. This looks all black and white. Okay. Let's go back to under it. Okay, and then, let's say, up here, one thing, when you, whenever you're doing uh, lighting, make sure you always build lighting. Use light mass, you don't really need that, but you might want to use it just in case. Yeah, make sure you build that, otherwise it's not going to work properly. Let's give it a second to go through. Okay. Here we go. Okay, and then we've got build paths. Takes like no time at all. And build ge geometry. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna. Okay, another thing content browser. This is where all your assets that you've made from 3ds Max, Maya, or Blender that you've imported into UDK. I probably won't go for that in the tutorials, but I might do for a bonus video for the series. Let's say you've got your buildings, your decorations, it's all there. Materials, particle systems, skeletal meshes. <laughs> Don't really need to go that. Uh, let's say I want to go to Static Mesh Editor, for example. You got the basic Static Mesh Editor. You can go to Show Collision Mod. Oh, sorry. It's a wireframe show collision model which show you exactly where like the user can't stand for example as you'll see the red and green lines uh, on here also you've got Kismet which is a visual scripting interface which is like perfect for anyone that uses like, I know uh, Visual Studio or Visual Basic yeah okay and up here so like different play models so there's the mobile previewer so let's say I want to play it on a landscape yeah default you know what? let's just go for an iPad iPad 2 even and play just give it a second to load you I'll go through something else oh yeah you've got the transformation tools up in the top left as you'll see here just turn that off. Go there. Okay, you got transformation tools like this one up here with scales, scales the object up and down. Then there's non-uniform scaling, so you can rather than making it go like separate all at once, you can do it from separate ways up, down, left. Yeah, you get the picture. And then there's rotational, like you can change it in any direction you want, like on your x axis, your y axis, your z axis, it's gonna move it like that. Then there's the movement tool. You just go stick it in the ground there or something. Etc. And then we've got the different kind of modes that you can use to develop your game in. For example, there's a camera mode which is what we're in at the moment. And then there's terrain mode which lets you edit terrain in a new perspective. Um let me just get that up quickly. Yep, you've got it up here so you can't just like do all this anymore. Uh I can't I haven't added the terrain. I'll go over making a new terrain in the next tutorial I think it is. I'm not too sure. But yeah. You get the picture and there's 
there's foliage mode which lets you put in foliage and just spray it around I don't know, objects that you made in speed tree or even ones that came with UDK standard assets uh, let's just go back into normal viewport mode uh... okay okay then we got the BSP brush basically what it is it's like a little brush that you can use to uh... add objects for example block and then CSG add or a cone even or I know stairs I'll go over complete BSP brush information in a later tor tutorial I think and then you've got the little volumes bit over here where you have no, no don't want to don't go to add special you've got here so let's say yeah okay yeah so we got the volume so you can add vo water volumes like down here slime volumes lava volumes yeah I'll focus on that in a late tutorial as well I'm gonna go over pretty much everything uh... saving is pretty easy it's a very uh... quick and easy procedure so make sure you always save your maps as DM it's just an expression for deathmatch just so you have weapons for example deathmatch and then I don't know cock arena or something I don't know it's just an example I'll probably beep that out or whatever if I get the time but yeah now now if you go to playing mode you will see that you have yeah you'll see that you have a radar a gun and a HUD you didn't make that or anything by accident I mean that's uh, automatically there it's a UT3 weapon which is Unreal Tournament any of you that haven't played that uh, but the HUD was by scale form and isn't in the actual game it's just used to placeholder for UDK uh, so yeah that's about all I wanted to cover really uh, thanks goodbye and look forward to the next one